Shalom, this is GMS Holland Sit Downs coming back with a lesson. I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai Ba'asham, Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostle, great millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect our dad is spreading his word as a seed in truth. God, this is going to be, uh, I'm just going to name it Common Board. This is not a question that came on the Common Board, but it came uh, last Saturday in the camp. We went over it, and uh, I'm basically, basically uh, gonna go over it again, but then in a sit down. The brother's question was, why did Moses want the body? Uh, it's like, yeah, why did Satan want the body of Moses? Now the scripture, of course, the scripture doesn't explain it. But if we look and realize what satanic rituals be are being done with uh, uh, bodies the way Esau sets up this whole uh, this whole um, Satan worship we can we can picture what what was going on so it's pursuing to pursuing to Jude chapter 1 verse 9 it says yet Michael the archangel went contending with the devil he disputed about the body of Moses there's not bring against him a railing accusation but said Yahweh rebuke thee that's what that's what uh, what Michael the archangel told Satan when he wanted to grab the body of Moses now the brother asked like why why did Satan want the body of Moses why do why do uh, why do these Edomites use use bodies to do rituals why do Edomites use uh, uh, um, sacrifices human sacrifices in their in their rituals wherein they worship satan you see you, you should think about that now the scripture says um let me see um ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 says this ephesians 2 and 1 and you had he quickened who were dead in trespass and sins Wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So at a certain point in time, our people was walking after Satan, man. Our people was worshiping Satan, literally, man. Entities, Satan. This this should still be happening, but um, back in the days. You know, I wouldn't say it was worse, but back in the days it was it was just obvious, man. It was known. They was worshipping Baal, which Baal is Satan. Okay, but that spirit now worketh in the children of disobedience, which the children of disobedience are the Edomites. The so-called white people. They are worshipping Satan now. Okay? In the book of Revelation it says... Um, pull it up real quick yeah I can read everything here but it's kind of long um, let me start at um, 10 Revelation chapter 18 verse 10 standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city Babylon that mighty city for in one hour is that judgment come so this is referring to the judgment that is going to come upon uh, upon America, which is called Babylon. Babylon, which means Babal in the Hebrew, which means um, confusion. The city of confusion. America is nothing but confusion, man. Nothing but confusion. For in one hour that is that judgment come. So it's referring to, to uh, America. And it says, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth her merchandise anymore. Yeah, exactly, because all these countries across the world is getting rich off of America, because America bought, buys everything, man. America buys everything, but no one likes to buy the garbage that, that comes from America, man. <laughs> That's the funny thing. I think the only real thing that, that people buy from America is bourbon whiskey. And to be honest, I don't even drink bourbon whiskey because that shit is terrible. 
I'll be drinking Irish whiskey and Scot Scottish wi whiskey. I'm not about that bourbon, man. It makes me sick. So, but hey, the store here is full with the bourbon whiskey. So, I don't know. There probably are some other things, materials that that um, that we get from America. But uh, for the biggest part, America is is the buyer and not the supplier. America is the buyer. So all these countries be getting rich off of America. So it says that these that these people are gonna mourn because of America and its destruction. Verse 12. The merchandise of gold and of silver and of precious stones and of pearls and of fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all tin and wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and of iron and of marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men that's what what the america supplies man you see this the slaves and the souls of men that's why when when you do um when you see these uh, ch uh, child um these uh, these child movies and stuff and um like this nickelodeon bullshit you know that you see on tv where where you see little children already acting these children are set up by their parents first and foremost and sold out man they already sold out. These these children are being uh, 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 pulled in and out by by uh, by the industry, man. There's this documentary where this stuntman, this uh, this ex stuntman of Hollywood, exposes the elite. He went to this um, um, to this um, physiotherapist that also puts pelvises back together. And she she was telling him, like, listen, I'm the only one here in um, in America, no, in Georgia, that that knows how to put the pelvis back together. So, what do you think I'm doing over here? All these children are coming from Hollywood, and I have to put their pelvis back together. Why is that? Because these filthy devils be raping these children in and out. And they break breaking their pelvises and everything, man. And then this woman has to put that back together. So they do all kinds of crazy rituals. And you also have something called um, damn, what is it called again, man? This demon witch. She be all up in spirit cooking, God, spirit cooking. You know. So they do all these kind of rituals. And during the spirit cooking, they they put. Uh, for the for the camera, of course, they put a body, a, f a cake in the form of a body, and then they eat the cake. But guess what? They really be doing, man. They be sacrificing these these uh, these bodies to um to Satan. Then you have this guy. Um, where was he from? He was also from. Uh, he he. I think he was a movie director or something or. No, he was in the military. Yeah, that was it. You can also find this in the documentary. He was in the military, and they in the military they knew that he was worshiping Satan, and then they interviewed him once at his home, and he showed them all these type of daggers, where would they do the sacrifices and the ceremonies? He didn't say sacrifices; he said ceremonies. So why you need a dagger for a ceremony? Because they're offering up bodies, man. They're offering up bodies. Okay, so going back, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2, wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of dis disobedience. So Esau is now upon, upon, um, upon the, uh, it's like a Esau is now dealing with Satan to, uh, on that level, man, on that level that we used to deal with Satan on that level, the, the Israelites I'm talking about. Referring to Hosea chapter 2 verse 16. And it shall, shall be at that day, said Yahweh, that thou shalt call me Ishi. Which Ishi is a translation uh, of the word uh, Ayasha, Ayasha, I think. Or Ayash. Let me look it up real quick. Yeah, Ayash, which means man, husband. So we're going to turn back 
to being uh, 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 to uh, having the most high as a husband because the scripture says what real quick Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 2 I've likened the daughter of Jerusalem it's like the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman so we are married unto Yahweh the heavenly father he is our husband we are married unto him because in the book of uh, in the book of um, Ezekiel chapter 16 and explains how we went and whoring and committed adultery with these false gods you see so that's all spiritual spiritually saying that we are married unto the heavenly father that's why the uh, heavenly father his son Yahweh Shai in Matthew chapter 22 referred to the kingdom as being a, a, a feast uh, of a, a marriage put on the mar uh, the wedding garments right so we are being turned back to the heavenly father Yahweh going back to Hosea chapter 2 Hosea chapter 2 let me read it again and it shall be at that day that Yahweh said Yahweh that thou shalt call me Ishi which is husband and shalt call me no more Baali which Baali yeah Baala ba Baalaya which is Baal a deity in the northern kingdom variation of the name Baal you see so it's Baal which is uh, which is Satan man they was worshiping Satan that cow that heifer they set it up as as that too it's all a uh, satanic worship so now now we're gonna call the Heavenly Father our husband instead of uh, referring to our power as Baal you see so that was then but now that spirit is upon the children of disobedience so what what are they do what they are doing is they are offering up bodies to Satan they're doing all kind of uh, wickedness and Yahweh Bashem is exposing it so if you want to know and dig into that there's many many uh, whistleblowers that speak up about it there was a Dutch banker that spoke up uh, spoke up about uh, the rape of little children the sacrifice of little children the eating of fetuses he spoke up about all of those things man so you can just look it up because all those things is being exposed according to prophecy this is numbers chapter uh, it's like a num not numbers not Nahum chapter 3 verse 5 behold I am against thee said Yahweh of hosts and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame which is all these rituals that they be doing man the pedophilia here it is Jeffrey Epstein gets arrested because of his island that's full of pedophilia and full of little, little girls getting raped day in and day out but at the same time you have all these celebrities that went to that same damn island so what about them what about them haven't they been doing all these filthy filthy things man then today brother sent sent me a couple of pictures i can pull them up too a couple of pictures about uh, donald trump man kissing little girls and stuff having them on their lap and you know when you have someone on your lap when you have a child on your lap he sits on one leg he doesn't sit he doesn't sit on both legs and then uh, basically hey i don't even want to want to talk like that but you know on, on, on your dick man but that's how these uh these uh, little girls be sitting on uh, on the lap of um, of donald trump kissing kissing them in the neck and shit you see so this still this stuff is still going on and it's all being exposed because of uh, the prophecy so it says verse 6 and i will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile and i will set thee as a gazing stock you know and they trying to suppress this information as much as possible that's why you see a lot of a lot of uh, channels are being terminated a lot of videos being uh, being taken down but you got to be wise with the title also if you put all kinds of crazy shit in the title then of course people is gonna click it 
But Esau's gonna click it too. Esau's gonna check it out too, man. And when he does that, that's when your video's gonna, gonna get taken down, you're gonna get a strike, you're not gonna be able to upload for a couple of weeks. And then slowly but surely you, your, your channel will be terminated because they're gonna do that research. They're gonna figure out whether you talk things that they don't like or, or that is still acceptable and they're gonna, uh, they're gonna censor your, your things and screen your things, I, I, I meant to say, uh, screen your things and see uh, if you're reaching out to a lot of people, man. Because then you, 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 uh, you're a danger to them and their secrets. So Esau is being exposed with the sa satanic rituals that they be doing. Now I'm going to the point, but I'm first off, I'm showing you how satanic Esau is and I'm pulling up a couple of things about him, you know, about the satanic things that he be doing and how it's being exposed according to prophecy. So this is Isaiah chapter 47 and 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. You see, so that's referring to the Edomites, these devils, the main enemy of Yahshua Allah and Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. The main enemy, which are on the side of, of Satan, like the book of Ephesians refers to, the spirit of, 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 of the prince of the power of the air, which is Satan, is now working with Esau. Now Esau does all these rituals, right, with bodies, sacrificing them, even building, like it says, a city on, upon blood, man. Um, let me go there, Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood, and establisheth a city by iniquity. Slavery was more than iniquity, man which iniquity is sin upon sin upon sin. That's what Esau has done. They built a city with iniquity, uh, uh, upon iniquity, which the, which the iniquity was uh, putting the, the children of Israel in slavery, man. Okay. And, and furthering the affliction, because the Most High, it was the Most High's will that the children of Israel went into slavery. But then again, Esau furthered the affliction. Like it says, yeah, let me not grab it. You can look it up. Esau furthered the affliction, but you furthered the affliction. So they went they went past the punishment that the Most High has set up for us. They pushed it. And all the foul things that they did, it's crazy. So they established the city upon blood. Now, if you go to Paris, you have something called the catacombs. Which the catacombs are caves where they have all these skulls and where they do all these satanic rituals. That's why you often see elites, they gather in, uh, in Switzerland and they gather in um, uh, Paris. You have these high uh, elite uh, clothing um, uh, 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 suppliers like uh, Louis Vuitton and all these, all these uh, rich devils. They gather over there in Paris, man. Then you had Rihanna. Rihanna also uh, coming over there, being a sex slave. You know, being fucked by all these by all these devils, man. She can she she get pulled in and out, man. Rihanna gets pulled in and out. Why you think certain of these celebrities they don't have a husband, man? She doesn't have a husband because she she's the main attraction for these white devils, man. They they pull her in and out, man. Believe me. She's being tossed to and fro, man, by white scum. So-called white scum, red scum, <laughs> and red cum. Fucking, man, she, she's a sex slave, man. So she being among them just to, to set up her own little uh, uh, brand, you know, Fanti or for Fanti or whatever. See, so this is what they do, man. This is underneath Paris. So they, they, they set up these mass graves of the bones of slaves because why? They believe that that will make the city prop, prosperous. And why do they believe that? Because of the scriptures. So they, they build it, they have built it, uh, 
uh, America upon the bones of the slaves and the, and, the, and the Native Americans. The same thing goes for Paris, man. It's being built upon the bones of the Israelites. Okay, to, because they believe they make the city prosperous. Then you have this picture of this devil. Uh, 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 a Judite boy is laying on the ground. And he has his feet upon them. Now what they believed was that um, when they were sick, that the sickness would go into the body of the Israelite and that they would get healed. So they believed that we had certain powers and that we were superior to them. They, they believed that. They knew that. They knew exactly what scriptures they shouldn't have, uh, that, that they shouldn't teach us when we were in slavery. And they only gave us the things about uh, listen to your master, obey your master. Because the book is full of, uh, full of um, scriptures of the Israelites and who the Israelites are and the prophecy that we shall go into, into captivity. You know, there's this one series wherein they show you that this boy knows how to read. And then he reads that we went into slavery and uh, they sit uh, at the table and they all praise, praise the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man, during slavery. So this is what they have here. Then, of course, America is one big grave full of bones of, of the slaves, the Native Americans and uh, the Israelites. Okay, so that's known. Okay, so now why do they believe that this is gonna heal them? Let me go there. Um, that this heals them, that, that we basically heal them, our bones make their and make their city prosperous because of this. Second Kings chapter 13, verse 20. And Elisha died, and they buried him. And the bands of the Moabites invaded the land at the coming in of the year. And it came to pass, as they were burying a man, that behold, they spied a band of men, and they cast the man into the sepulchre of Elisha. And when the man was let down and touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood upon his feet. Do you get that? So the scripture says that a dead man, he was dead, his soul left his body. He only touched the bones of the body of Elisha who passed away and he, he became alive again. He became alive again, man. You see? So these devils know this. These, never, these devils know that, that you can do rituals with the body of the Israelites. You can do rituals with the body of the slaves, the so-called slaves that, that Esau turned us into. That's why they also dug up they also dug up the bodies of the kings and the priests of Israel. This is Jeremiah chapter 8. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 1. At that time, Yah uh, said Yahweh. They shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah and the bones of his princes and the bones of the priests and the bones of the prophets and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves. You see that? That's what Esau has done, man. Esau has dug up all these tombs. Recently, they found the, the tomb of... Um, they found the tomb of, um, of uh, Joseph. In Egypt and then they said uh, when they when they opened his uh, grave they didn't see no bones in it because it was raided yeah who, who who probably raided it man these devils man because they want these bones they want to do rituals upon the kings of Israel upon the uh, the priests of Israel upon the pre uh, the kings of Judah they want to do rituals with those things man because that, that's when Satan increases their power. Satan knows the value of the body of these men. 
which which we we see through the scriptures also because the man that was dead he was healed through the bones of uh, of uh, Elisha man so Satan knew that power we don't know exactly what Satan wanted to do with the body but he probably wanted to give it to one of his his worshipers man you know and 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 the angel Archangel Michael he rebuked him in the name of the Heavenly Father Yahweh that he couldn't do that thing because guess what he needs to have permission and he didn't have permission in this in this case so he got rebuked the fuck out of man by the Archangel Michael which you have angels they can they can annihilate the whole planet earth that was just an angel that that happened to um, in the time of uh, King David an angel happened to come and and uh, and slay a lot of people, man. And the most I had to stop him. The most I eventually said, okay, that's enough. Because the angel would just keep going, man. Angels have in infinite energy. They don't have to sleep. They are celestial beings. Celestial comes from the word cielo, which means heaven. They have heavenly bodies. They don't have to sleep. They don't have to eat. That's why the scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 says... That the glory of the terrestrial is one and the glory of the celestial is another. They don't have to sleep. They never get tired. They have infinite energy. Okay? So they dug up the bones. Let me read it again. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 1. At that time, said Yahweh, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah and the bones of his princes and the bones of, of the priests and the bones of the prophets and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves. To do what? same thing they be doing now the same thing they did in slavery building a city upon blood and do rituals with it and worshiping satan uh, uh, with those things man with those bones with those bodies verse 2 and they shall spread them before the sun and the moon and the hosts of heaven whom they have loved and whom they have served because really these devils be serving uh, the sun, man, which the sun is, is, is synonymous for Satan. It's synonymous for Satan, man. They they worship the sun. They worship Satan. That's why when you go to the to the Catholic Church, you see sun worship, man. Uh, Pope, sun, staff. You see this? This resembles Satan, man. When do they worship? On a Sunday. That's when people go to church, right? They sun worshippers, which is synonymous to the devil, the Satan. Okay, so these bones they present in front of in front of the the host of heaven, which they have um, worshipped, and it goes beyond that. Like I said, it's really it's really talking about Satan, man. Okay, so that's what they do with the bodies, man. Now Satan grabbed it. And my point with this is that if Satan grabbed it and you want to know his purpose, what are the people doing with the bodies that, uh, whose purpose is to worship that, uh, that entity, man? You see? What are those people doing with it? Then you're not going to have the 100% answer of what, what Satan, his plan was with it, but you can picture it. You can picture it in your mind because you know what these devils be doing with the bodies. The scriptures speak about that they was, was worshiping Satan with the bodies of the kings and the priests and the prophets. Then out with the scriptures, you know that uh, the body of Elisha already had power to, to bring, bring a dead man back to life, man. And then you know the history that, that these devils built their towns upon bloods, upon the bones of the slaves, of the kings and the priests and the prophets of, of uh, Yasha Allah, man. On, a, on, the, on the bodies of all the tribes of Israel. They, they have done that, man. So that gives you a, a picture of what, what, what's going on, man. Don't forget, man, this, 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 um, this nation who is called Edom, 
It's a satanic nation, man. It's a satanic nation. Who shows you the ways of Satan because they are turned after Satan. They deal with the, the spiritual demon Satan. That's why you see this, the Vatican, snake Vatican. If I type in this, the Vatican is really a snake head. The church of the Vatican is really a snake head. Because why? Vatican actually means prophets of the snake. Prophets of the serpent. Let me type in Vatican meaning. Vatican meaning you see the word Vatican literally means divining serpent serpent city Vatican and then it says um, Vaticanus Mons or Vaticanus Colis which means hill or mountain of prophecy you see so it goes into prophets of the set of the serpent man that's why they have this that's why they have that um, that uh, snake you see that's why they have that snake church because that's what they worship and that's who they are too in the reincarnation they were those they were that serpent who, who came in the garden of Eden that's them. The devil, that old serpent, like it says in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So they are uh, they are uh, representatives of Satan because Isa got bound up a thousand years from uh, approximately 325 AD till the thir uh, the 13 1400s, which is called the Renaissance. Which the, the word Renaissance means rebirth. So Esau is that old serpent, that old serpent referring to him being in the garden, who is the devil. Which the word devil goes back to the word Diablo Which means deceiver In the Latin Okay So it's talking about him So we know what they do with bodies And what they've been doing with bodies And what purposes they have They don't have And had So what, what Satan wanted to do with with, uh, with the body of Moses Was uh, obvious man He knows that there is power in the body of the saints of the heavenly father Yahweh so you you can you can paint a picture for yourself now you see so with that i'm gonna say call the lawyer shalom to the elect